and this iron golem farm right here will work across all versions it's super minimalist looks super awesome and it's super hype a few little tricks for each version i'll tell you along the way hey there guys skippy here for room skippy six gaming guys coming to you with an iron golem farm of awesomeness looks super cool because it looks different than all the rest and it will work across all versions that said uh, i originally saw this really cool design here on groove guys channel i'll definitely link him in the description below uh, while we're dealing with uh, familiar iron golem spawning mechanics here the kind of water placement super unique and awesome so feel free to uh, check him out so uh, let's get this guy done guys super cool super minimalist I would say that it makes about a stack and a half an hour I've tested it out uh, that was a 15 minute time lapse so basically the what you saw at the beginning was 15 minute time lapse so times that by four we're looking at about a stack a half each um, pretty simple to build uh, very straightforward I'm just gonna build it right on top of this guy so I think for this one here guys let's go for 492 likes if you like iron free iron a stack and a half of free iron every hour uh yeah drop a like and uh okay so let's tell you what you need guys for this build you are gonna need one bucket of lava four signs uh four hoppers two chests two buckets of water to create a source block and give you infinite but you're gonna need lots of water uh, about 23 glass four stacks and two blocks of solid blocks and uh, two stacks and 27 of half slabs as well as 25 doors in addition to this uh, you're going to need at least two villagers then you could breed them uh, you're going to want to get them up to uh, 14 10 to 14 i think 14 is a good magic number and yeah so um i think what i'm going to do is just rip this down right here i think that'll be the easy way we're going to build it right on top of this one Okay, so it's easy to start with. First, we're going to start off with a 16 by 16. This is 16 long, 16 wide. Six, it's a 16 by 16 square. Make sure you cut out the center for blocks. Again, that means that there will be seven on each side. Seven with an eighth in the middle. That's it. Seven on each side of the block and 16 by 16. Pretty straightforward. Over here, we're going to make sure that this one is three blocks off the ground. And then there is a space of four between these guys. A two three four see four and three so three before there one four for this one let's get rid of this once we've done this let's uh let's talk about something quick time so first things first if you're playing on bedrock edition i think groova kind of suggested that building this farm here within uh, an actual chunk so a 16 by 16 uh, would be a smart idea again there's some challenges on um, on the realm and stuff uh, where something that is on the border of a chunk actually kind of disappears and messes up uh, so if you if you have a problem with this farm with the villagers kind of you know getting out of where they are uh, you just move the farm over delete one side move it over move it over a couple blocks uh, that could help for realms uh, but for the most part it should work perfect so once we've done this let's go ahead and grab our uh, slabs we're gonna do bottom slab right here and we're gonna do a bottom slab all the way around both of these right now uh, yeah so just uh, I'll time-lapse it enjoy Okay, so now that we've done that, we've got our rim of half slabs all the way around. Let's uh, let's get ready to do the villager. So basically what we want is one of these corners here. We're going to pop her out. We're going to get ready because uh, two away from the side, we're going to go like this. So let's go like this. This is the corner with the villager. So let's go ahead and make there a two bop, bop drop just like this. And then let's just bottle in this corner here. So let's do that by doing this. Bang, bang. Like that. See what we have too high right up to the thing looks good fill it in with glass you could use solid blocks if you desire uh it's up to you so now what you want to do is get villagers in here you need at least two villagers in here uh, i would just use a train uh use a minecart that's the best way to do it get them in here Get two of them in here and then just give them carrots and potatoes and whatever you need to do to let them breed uh, they will breed naturally increasing if you are uh you know a smart cookie which are <laughs> and you're making it in creative like me you just go ahead and uh, grab yourself a spawn egg however uh, on survival it won't be so easy so uh yeah that's the way you're gonna do it minecart here two of them give them tons of uh 
carrots, and potatoes. But since we're on creative, let's just do 14. 10 to 14 is a good number. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We'll just put 14 in. Why not? Once we've done this, cover those bad boys up. So again, throw carrots if you want them to breed. I guess you know what what we're gonna do. You know what? Since we're um, since we're making a vid, I'll throw some carrots in. You can see what happens once you throw the carrots in. Uh, you're gonna start seeing some hearts. So like right now, you don't see hearts because they're not uh, primed up to to breed. But it's always good, even if you had the 14, to throw some of those in. And you'll find that they're going to start making hearts. They're throwing them to each other. Everything's good. But they're not going to breed yet because the doors aren't there. So let's put the doors in. Go ahead and grab your half slabs and do it from right here. One away, right there. Let's do it and then leave two on the end. Like this. Perfect. So let's go to the other side and do the same thing. Uh, we're going to do this in a little bit of a different order. I think the way that Gruva did it, it doesn't work anymore. The way that he placed water, you have to use the blocks first. So uh, we're going to want to skip two away from the end. Then we're going to want to uh, have two of them. This is going to be where the door goes, and that's the floor. Once we've done this, carry this all the way down to the end, two away from the end. One, two. So now let's go over here and let's start placing our water guys. This is actually, you have to put this before the doors. Uh, it's because to place the water in, uh, in whatever update I'm on, uh, you need to be able to place down onto this block. If you were to place it over here, it would end up filling up that block and we don't want that. So now placing the water is kind of the, you know, the real key thing. Uh, get rid of that. So what you want to do is start at the end here. Let's go ahead and put this guy to cover them up. Skip two place water for five once you do that skip two. place water for five as you can see nothing goes down the hole if at any point in time make sure you check in between because if it does do the same exact thing skip two. One, two, three, four, five. skip two. One, two, three, four, five. Keep looking because often guys when I make you always make mistakes if one side's a little bigger one side's not skip two one two three four five skip two one two three four five let's go over here skip two one two three four five skip two one two three four five guess what nothing goes down the hole so what we're going to do is i'm going to go to the bottom and do the same thing i'm going to time lapse that time uh, so you don't have to watch too much Okay, so now that you've seen we've done that, we've done it to the top and the bottom. Now we're just going to put one more thing here. What we're going to do is go to each and every corner and put two glass blocks like this. Drop a source block of water and break these out. We're going to do that on all four corners of both sides right now. I'm going to time lapse that one as well to make the video faster. So now that all that's done, we have our water flowing good. Everything's good. We are going to get all of the golems, everything flying down the middle. Now that our water's placed here, we can start doing the doors. Once we put the doors in, we should see some hearts on the villagers. The villagers will start breeding. That starts bringing us love. So uh, let's go to the top where we did this and mark our spot right here. Bust it out. Water's going to flow. Don't worry. Just let it flow. There's no redstone down there. And uh, yeah, do this all the way across, leaving the last two basically on top of every single one of these half slabs. And one more. Once we've done this, make sure you face the doors so that they're on the outside just like this. Door. There we go. Water stops flowing. Let's go to the other side and do the same thing. Make sure we're on top of the slabs halfway over there. This guy right here, all the way across, break these blocks out. And you can see we have hearts coming on the villagers over there. That's because we now have enough doors to register the villagers.
do this, they will just keep on breeding if at any point in time they stop breeding. Uh, you can feel free to just give them some more fruits and vegetables or whatever, and they will be happy. So what do we have here going on? We have a little problemo. I guess if that happens, just do that. I, I've never seen that before. So this, what happened was it created a source block right there. So just go ahead and bust that source block. See what happens there? Basically, you can see it happen here too. So we could just fix it up like that. It's funny because it didn't do that the first time I tested it. So uh, I made the conscious decision to put the doors after. But hey, that's easy enough. This has just created a source block here. So get rid of that guy. And it looks like everything is working perfect. So uh, yeah, done, done, and done. Now we just have to do the bottom, guys. All the doors are in place. All the villagers are in place. Let's just go to the bottom and make this uh, quick little lava blade. Cover this bad boy up with glass. And now if you're on a specific version, depending, you should make this, definitely do not make this 65 blocks away from any other iron golem farm, of course, uh, or any doors for that matter. Go ahead and just box yourself in here. And then also that's kind of a uh, specific to, jaunt, to version. Uh, on this, actually, let's just do this. So we're gonna put our chest in the front. Chest in the front. Hoppers. Um, okay, so depending on the version you're on, some there is a version of somewhere where it burns signs. I don't know what it is, uh, but I use signs. If you're on a version where signs burn, that's fair enough. Just use iron trap doors or use something that will just block this because basically we just can't have lava here uh, because when the iron golem comes, hey, how perfect is that, guys? So we're gonna have problems with this guy because <laughs> we haven't done our lava blade, but uh, yeah, we can actually deal with him right now how about this bang so that lava blade is going to block the lava in the iron golems are gonna die how perfect was that actually that thing works awesome this iron golem farm is fast um he's gonna die guess what you get this stuff like i said if you have a ver use iron trap doors i think on that version and there you go guys easy peasy lemon squeezy one two three z and there we go. Nice, nice, guys. It looks super cool and unique. It looks much different than all the other ones. And yeah, don't forget to smash that like. Don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel for, uh, yeah, more quick, awesome, cool tutorials. Thanks a lot for tuning in. And I'll catch you on the next one.